Hi, I'm Jesus. Today I will show you how to set up your DVR for remote view. All you need is your router, a CAT5 cable, also known as Ethernet cable, or your hub. Now, I will show you how to connect your DVR to the back of it. You simply get the CAT5 cable, and connect it to the back. Then the other side, you will simply get your router and connect it into any of the ports. Now, in your DVR, simply go into the menu located on the top left, go under configuration, go under network, select DHCP. This will allow the DVR to automatically obtain an IP address from your network. Once it's checked, click apply. Then navigate on the top right until you get to more settings, and you will copy the server port, HTTP port, and RTSP port. These are the ports we need to do port forward. Once you do that, go back and check if the DVR obtained an IP, go into maintenance, system, select network. Copy the IP address, this is the IP address of your DVR, and also copy the default gateway IP, this is the IP address of your router. Once you have copied that, now we're gonna access your router. Please have the user manual of your router so you can refer to the port forward section if it's not the same router I'm using as an example. Let's begin. Open any browser and type the IP address of the default gateway that you copy from the DVR. It's going to ask you for a username and password. This is the username and password of the router. It's not your Wi-Fi password. Once you log in, you will go under the port forward section, refer to your manual if it's not the same router I'm using. Once you're in the port forward section, you're going to add a custom service. Under the service name, you can name it anything. I'm going to name mine 960H. The port is the port that you also copy from the DVR. The IP is the IP address of the DVR. Click Apply. And we're going to add another custom service. I'm going to name it 960H2. The other port is 80. And the same IP address. Now I need another custom service. I'm going to name it 960H3, the port is 554, and the same IP. These three ports were the ports that you copied from your DVR earlier. Now to check if the ports are open, simply go to this website. CanYouSeeMe.org In this website, Type the ports of the DVR. One of them was 80. Let's check. Success. Let's check the other port. Success. Let's check the last port. Success. If you see success in all the three ports, now you can access your DVR from anywhere. You can copy this IP address if you're using any computer, you can open Internet Explorer and type this IP address and that will get you into the interface of the DVR. Or if you're using your smartphone device, open the application and in the application you put the IP address and that will also get you into the DVR interface. Let's test if it was properly set up. I'll simply copy the IP, put it in my browser. 
If I get the username and password login of the DVR, you have successfully set up your DVR for remote view. Simply type the username and password and log in.